Welcome to Oz Nomad Destinations. Follow us as we caravan our way around Australia. This is Ed and I'm Beck, and we're finding you the best free and budget camp spots Oz has to offer. Fishing, crabbing and hiking our way through this awesome country. For notifications, click subscribe and hit the bell and that will keep you up to date. We left Atherton Tablelands this week as we'd picked up a week's caretaking on a cane farm while the owners had a well-deserved holiday. We headed west out of the Tablelands and down towards Charters Towers. Out in the middle of nowhere we stopped at the Lind for fuel and to grab some chocolate. Man, they build some big semis out here. They're monsters. The plan was to stop at Fletcher's Creek Camp Reserve for a night. Morning. So we've just spent the night at Fletcher's Creek. It's campgrounds about 45 kilometres north of Charters Towers. It's free, it runs along the side of a freshwater creek. You can swim, fish, it has a toilet block and a dump point. Let me show you around. Fire pits. And that's us camped over there. It's a really big space. Everyone's spread out. Lots of privacy. Not sure it'll be like that in the middle of June, but anyhow, it is black soil, so if it rains, I'd be heading for the bitumen, but that's the only downside of it that I can see. We arrived in time for a walk and a look around before dark. It had fire pits and picnic tables scattered throughout the ground, as well as garbage bins. Oh, there's little ducks. There were some cows roaming through, but they were quiet and really didn't cause any problems. Fletcher Creek runs into the Burdekin River. What do you reckon it'd be in there, turtles? Barra. Might be Barra. I'm pretty sure there are no Barra. Sorry. <laughs> Ask Ed, he reckons I think Barra live everywhere. The campgrounds is really big and would hold hundreds of vans when it was full. The main road runs through the middle, but if you head down the back, the road noise is not too bad. You can walk over the grid from one camp to the other, but for those that are not that brave or can see the what ifs, there's also a gate. There is a footbridge that leads over to the northern side to access the toilets and showers, but they were not well maintained and we didn't use them. It's a bit of basalt. Looks like lava. The western side of the campgrounds runs right along the creek and gives a better outlook than the eastern side. There are no other facilities. I guess you could grab some fresh water from the creek if you wanted to do dishes or hand washing. We 
We ran into a couple of kids fishing on the footbridge. They'd been catching sooty grunter. This is keep taking the bait. Alrighty, eh? Yeah. It's quite decent sizes. The toilet block and the dump point are on the northern side of the campgrounds. The campgrounds was pretty quiet when we were there. A few people had Jennies going, but we were so spread out it didn't really matter. Fletcher Creek would be a great overnight spot unless it was wet. Anyway, that's us for another week. Keep in contact, stay happy, and we'll see you next week. Oh,